Well, we are excited to be here. We are doing our real talks at Hard Knocks. Got the production team, mom and dad, and uh, we're gonna get her done. This is Sturgeon Redemption. This is Sturgeon Redemption. That's what this episode is about. That's it. That's crazy. We went to the island after that trip, and you didn't land that, that big one? No. And then... No, but it lit that fuse. It lit that fuse. It's the only thing I can think about. We caught some good fish on the island, but man, that entire however long stretch, the only thing I could think about was going back for that big, big white sturgeon. Before we got on the ferry, and I don't know if we got this on film, you said, contact Fred's, see if we can get Sean. Yeah. On the way back through, we're going to do it again. And yep. you're going to get it right this time. <laughs> yep. And so we called him, and Sean's like, yeah, I can be available. Yeah, we pulled into town, and uh, we went over back over to Fred's. We got you know some more gear, got things organized, and then uh, we met Sean there the next morning. We're back at it. Yep. So we go out there and uh, he put us into, I'd say one of his better spots. Uh, he was definitely, definitely yeah. trying to get us into that fish this time. You know, I think he, I think he was feeling what we were feeling. Yeah, absolutely. He knew that we had to get it done. <laughs> one way or another, it had to get done. We are watching the rods and we saw that big bounce and you just know the difference immediately. You know when it's a big fish. And they're just I think Sean, Sean, I, I recall him yelling, hey, hit it, or something like that. And then yeah. you're like, right out of the thing and then oh, right away you knew it was a yep. good one. Oh yeah. Again, a good one. It was right after that other one, but it was like a few days in between. Yep, and this fish, uh, the first big one, he, he really stayed down and deep. He did not want to come up. And, right. and sometimes that can be the difference between a big fish and a not so big fish when it comes to these white sturgeons. Sure. But, uh, so the first fish, he, he stayed down and deep, but he went on a lot of big runs. Yeah. And uh, this, this other big one, on, on the second trip, this fish was very acrobatic. I think it was probably two minutes into the fight and this guy was already flying out of the water. He probably breached a good a good handful of times. I'm not I'm not exactly sure how many times because when you're in the battle it's so exciting, it's so pumped full of adrenaline. And from the camera uh, perspective, so Deb and I were on the camera you know, and uh, we we're filming and this fish, like we're on you and then we look over and we see this giant fish come up. We're like, oh God, and try to swing over. I think we maybe got a couple out of focus shots and then we're like, okay, now we got to start yeah. If he comes back up again, we're going to get him because that was, the water. it is spectacular to see this giant fish come out of the water. Like they come way out Oh yeah. and you're just looking at it like, oh my God, that's a big fish. Yeah. You see a fish that's, you know, well over seven feet coming out of the water, tail walking, shaking their mouth and you can see your hook hanging out the corner of the mouth and you're like, please don't spit that <laughs> off. <laughs> like, oh my God, it's <laughs> just <laughs> unreal. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely like one of the more entertaining type of fishing you get the, the once you're stuck to them <laughs> there can be long waits in between but yeah. once you're stuck to them yeah. holy cow is that that's like probably my favorite fishing it's definitely up there in my top three favorite species to catch yeah, it's just unbelievable yeah he puts that belt on you so you can get that right into your gut there and you're, yep. and you're reeling up and you're pulling and reeling and pulling and i couldn't even imagine fighting those fish without a belt no and that's <laughs> yeah, the thing. i think it'd be impossible if there, and you were doing it on your own so if there's multiple people then you know the guy's like okay i'll hold it and the guy's changing belts over he got yep. two on the go switching over the rods and pulling it in i could just imagine but for us it was just you yeah. and again you're <laughs> again, saying you're stuck with the fish on your own and we're yep. there's no option Aiden and, and this is this is a giant fish and you gotta, you're just gonna have to pull it in. There was there was definitely a couple times there where uh, where that fish we were trying to drag him into the beach and Sean was saying there was a lot of logs on the bottom here. There's a lot of junk that yeah. you could get yeah. snagged on. That's There's right. a lot of stuff that can go keep wrong right now. Up. Yeah he said you have to keep this fish's head up. And here I am like this fish, we didn't battle for all that long, really. It, it was a long battle, but, you know, in comparison, it was, it was probably only a half an hour battle. Right. Which is still a long time to be stuck to a fish. A long time to be stuck sure. to a dinosaur flying five feet out of the water, but, yeah. you know. So, we had to keep his head up out of those sticks to make sure that we could get that hero shot on the beach. Right. And that was, that was the hardest part of the fight, honestly. It's one thing holding on to the fish when they're running and, you, and you're just watching your reel empty and you're like, oh, now I have to reel all of this back in with that huge fish on the end yeah. of it. But holy cow, at the end of the fight, when you're exhausted, you haven't switched off with anyone, your arms don't want to lift anymore, you don't want to put in the, you do want to put in the effort, you just, your body is telling you not to and you're, yeah. you're trying to tell your arms to lift and you, they just won't. Highly, highly recommended that you're going to do that fishing and <laughs> the fish with a crew. Yeah. And yeah. get everybody in the shot and all that stuff. But, so, so you did end up getting that fish. 
you, you got it to the surface. Yep. And remember, as I never forget, it's like, well, first of all, when we got it to shore, so, so Sean got us to the shore, got us, we're all piling out, we've got the cameras going and everything, and you guys are getting around it, and Sean's, you know, kind of directing where you got to go and, and that kind of thing. And uh, But by then, the, fit, the fish was kind of settled in. Yep. And we thought for sure maybe this fish had been caught before because it just kind of just settled right into what it needed to do. But Sean scanned that fish, and there was a virgin sturgeon, as he called it. Yep. There was no tag and in it. And the thing is, this fish measured from the tip of the nose to the inside of the tail fork, seven and a half feet. That's a big fish. That's that's not a small fish. Yeah. You know, there's there's a very good chance that that fish, I mean, it, it probably was caught by somebody that didn't tag it right. in the past. You know, there, there's a low chance that fish wasn't caught before in, in that river. Right. But there was no tag in it. No tag at all. It's extremely rare from my understanding yeah. for a fish of that size in the Fraser River to not have a tag in it. Yeah, absolutely. So, so Sean, thought, yeah, Sean grabbed the kit and yep. uh, he injected the tag in an appropriate place and documented yep. it. And that just makes you feel good that you're going to so be cool. part of the conservation process of this fish. We're documenting it, yep. uh, you know, bringing it in, getting the photo with it. Never, of course, it never leaves the water. It's massive. Yeah. So you're in behind it. We get that shot. And it's like, wow, ah, this thing is so huge, it's so <laughs> cool. And you pulled it in all by yourself. You know, other than the, the big one on the previous trip, which, you know, realistically, we didn't see much more of the last three feet of its tail right. at any point. We only saw the last three feet of that fish. Yeah. So this fish was just, oh my gosh, I couldn't even believe the, the way that it looked, that it's, the, its head, its eyes, its, its oh, face, its skin, just, everything about it is so prehistoric. These, these fish are extremely prehistoric. They've yeah. been around for millions and millions of years. But to see that fish in person and, and actually get to absorb the moment and, and be a part of the biology and, and the conservation, like you said, and making sure that these fish are still there for the ecosystem and, and for you know for people to catch in the future, right? Absolutely. It's all very, very important. Yeah, and it's really it's really neat that, uh, like I know Fred's custom tackle is really heavily, like Fred is really heavily uh, uh, involved in the whole conservation uh, the group 100%. there. What was the name of that? The, uh, the Sturgeon Conservation Society. Yeah, the Sturgeon Conservation Society, big part of it. They're the ones that are taking all the information. And, you know, having that 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 kind of a, uh, it's a draw for to bring tourists to be able to participate in this type of fishing and to be part of the conservation part of it, like we're doing the tagging and all that kind of thing, and then releasing this fish. It's just, it's such a good renewal. It, it, it feels good that we're, we're helping out the society, we're helping out the surgeon, we're helping out the, uh, the local businesses and all that kind of thing. So just to be part of that, it's just fantastic. It's a highly recommended trip uh, with, with Fred's custom uh, tackle. Uh, there are other uh, uh, people out there that do charters for that, but uh, if you want a solid you know, guide, uh, professional. Very all professional, the, very educated guide. You yeah. want to go with people that really know their stuff and their goal is to put you on big fish. And all the gear that you need, the store is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah seriously. Yeah. You walk into the and store. And all the gear, gear you don't need. On all the gear you don't need. <laughs> That's the biggest part. Yep. <laughs> but awesome, yeah. Well, here's to uh, Sturgeon Redemption. Sturgeon Redemption. Fraser River. Fraser River. Fraser River.